Find a mud crab. Where's the mud crab? Where is it? Where's the mud crab? Go get him. Alrighty, so here we are, up in the top end, waiting for the tide to come back in. Low tide like this right now. We're cruising around checking out some rock pools and we're looking for goodies like this guy down here. A look in the water. Woohoo, what a ripper! Now let's see if we can get this guy before he gets me. I'll spin him around and grab him from the back there, behind the two swimmers. See that? Once you've got him there, he can't get you. If I put my fingers under and grab him like that, he can put his, still put his claws under there and get you. And if that big claw gets you, it's going to break your little finger off and snap it off. So we want to get him there. We can push him down, grab the back there, and we've got him just like that. There we go. That is a good size uh, male mud crab. Hey, buddy. Now you can see here on the bottom of the carapace, the small triangle, the thin triangle, that's the male. His characteristics, they're different sizes in different states. Um, where we are here, it's a 13 centimeters for a male is legal. Uh, these guys can get to like 16, 17, maybe even 19 across the shell, um, and two, two kilos, so they get huge. You could easily get one twice the size of this, believe it or not. One of my favorite bush foods, now the best way to cook this guy, is straight on the coals basically cook yourself up a nice fire get your, your cooking fire on the side have your coals separate uh, a little bit of a rack above so he's not right on the intensely hot coals and uh, you can uh, put a knife through his carapace there and lay him upside down like that and he'll cook in his own juices it's this delicious mud crab and uh, yeah this guy here we get another three or four of these and generally if you can get one decent sized one like this guy each and you'll have a pretty good feed on that so just coming down to areas like this looks like there's nothing around you can actually still get a feed now we want to find a little bit of mud and any sort of large rocky areas we also got to be careful though because in that uh, in that muddy water that's there that's coming back in behind me that's a great spot for crocodiles. They love it when it's a bit murky. They've got really good camouflage in that type of water there. So, oi, come here. So we want to keep the dog away from the water's edge for obvious reasons. Hey, what's this? What's this? Where's the crab? Where's the crab? <laughs> Alrighty. So we can see this guy here. He's got his claw. See the end of his claw there? has been snapped off. On the top of his shell there as well, there's a bit of a puncture mark, and underneath there. So this guy has been in a fight with another male, they're quite territorial. So if we're lucky, have a poke around, we might be lucky enough to find the other male that he was fighting with. And then we can cook them both on the fire together. Yeah! What's that? Hey, what a ripper! Now, you'd think that most things that come from the muddy mangroves would taste muddy, but these guys are actually quite delicious. And another one of my favourite eating fish, the mangrove jack, also comes from the mangroves, as the name suggests. So food sources from the mangroves are generally quite tasty. Alright, so we'll pop him down here in this pool. Give him a little bit of a, a bath there. Let him have a little swim. You can see what he looks like in the water. And what he'll do is he'll defend himself, keep his claws right up. And that claw there, you wouldn't want to get crunched by that, could break your finger pretty easy. Lots of power in that claw there. Crab sizes. So in the Northern Territory, 13 centimeters for a buck or a male, and 14 centimeters for a female. Uh, in Queensland, bucks only 15 centimeters, which are about a kilo crab. Um, 
So the female's a bit bigger, 14 centimeters. Once they get to that huge size, they stop reproducing as much, and that's why they're protected under that size. Another thing I wanted to mention as well is uh, the shells up here. We've got some cone shells. Uh, don't pick up shells in the ocean in this area. Uh, this one in particular, the Geographus cone shell, there's a few different species of them. There's one cone shell, black and white, about that big. And it's a snail, and what it does is it uses this little proboscis comes out of here and what, he do, what he's got, he's got a dart with a barb on it and it's also hypodermic uh, connected to a venom gland and they're a venomous sea snail and they shoot the prey and it paralyzes the prey instantly. Um, so with our jellyfish and our cone shells have quite toxic venom which paralyzes their prey straight away because it's a slow moving uh, predator and the, the prey items are fast moving so they have really strong knockout toxins. So don't pick up shells in the ocean, northern Australia, right across northern Australia, uh, even around the world, uh, in the tropics near the equator as well, cone shells and, and watch out for the jellyfish as well, so stay safe out there, don't pick up shells. Alrighty, let's go and see what else we can find. triangle the male the female will have the big wide plate there now these guys live in here when the tide comes in they'll eat any dead fish anything like that nice blue colors they actually take years to get to this size so there he is Johnny mud crab look at him in the threat pose nice and wide whoa he's a bit of a goer this fella now we got the camera you get too close, that's what they do. Two claws at the same time. Ready? One, two, three. Whoa! Look at him. See what he's trying to do there? That's another one of his escape techniques. He'll use these little flippers, bury into the sand, and disappear. So if they come in flat, push him down. This one's a bit more fiery than the other one, that's for sure. He's a bit of a, more like a teenager. Catch him, cook him. I reckon we chuck this one on the coals later. Hey guys, just really wanted to say thanks a lot for tuning into my channel and staying with us on these wildlife adventures. If you like what you see, share it with your mates. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And don't forget, keep it wild, and I'll catch you next time.